Miss Robin Rihanna Fenty dropped her Fenty clothing line today, and girl, I am just broke. Looking at the collection, I've never felt so poor in my oh entire my gosh. life. <laughs> Same. I mean, talk about a quintuple threat. She's a singer, an actress, an ambassador to Barbados. She has her entire beauty line, Fenty Beauty, and then on top of that, Savage Fenty Lingerie, and now a Parisian luxury house for her Fenty clothing line. What can't Rihanna do? The answer oh, is nothing, you nothing. guys. She and, can do everything. And she slays at all of it. Slays with everything. And of course, I mean, this is a luxury line. And just looking at the styles, like we mentioned, I mean, it just screams money, money, money. Because it's really sometimes not about your closet. You can have all the clothes in the world, and it's like, what does my body want to wear today? And, you know, it, it really does reflect her personal style as of late. Like, this is right. all, these are all silhouettes and things that we've kind of seen her wear. This oversized, deconstructed menswear, but still really sexy with a short hemline. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like you said, it's a luxury collection. Right. So, like, when we talk about the price points, this is a luxury brand. So... Everything's very expensive, but she's working mm -hmm. with LVMH, which is yeah. um, Louis Vuitton, Moe Hennessy, which is the parent company for so many luxury brands. And she's actually the first African-American woman to be the lead head designer and yes. creative force behind yeah. an LVMH brand. Which and you is mentioned amazing. you mentioned like her line, this this company embodies who she is too. And I want to read this quote from Rihanna saying that some days she she says she wants to be submissive. Many days she's completely in charge, and most days she feels like being both. So it was imperative that we created a line versatile enough to embrace and celebrate us in that way. And I love that. And I love the versatility the inclusivity with this entire line. I love it. I, I really do love the message behind it. It's it's super cool. Now, I'm curious. This is what I'm always curious to see when a new collection drops from anybody mm -hmm. is who is going to be the customer? Who are we going to see in this collection? So, I'm Probably sure she has... Probably not me in those sunglasses. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, they're... It, it's a really, in, I want to say it's an intense collection, but mm -hmm. it is an intense collection. It's not something you're just going to wear every day running down the street unless you live in New York City, unless you're maybe in the music industry or creative, uh, you know, field. It's all really, really cool stuff that really pushes the boundary. It is intense on my wallet, that is for sure. I mean, some of these looks, you guys, that you're seeing, like that blazer there on the right is over $1,000. I, I love a good blazer look but it's a little outside of my budget, exactly. but have to keep in mind, this is a luxury, a luxury line. Luxury. And when you think of Fenty now, you have to equate it with the Gucci's, the St. Laurent's, Absolutely. the Fenty's of the world. Absolutely, which is really cool. And let, you know, we were just seeing that baseball hat and the sunglasses, you know, those are the least expensive items. Those are maybe like in the $180, but to $400 price range. But $180 hat, exactly. I mean, would you? No. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Sorry, Rihanna. I mean, it's a little bit, I, I mean, if Rihanna wants to gift us some uh, if Fenty I, clothes. If I could have anything, I was really loving that pink suit with, yes. the, with the coordinated fanny pack. Yes. And the fanny pack comes with it. So, wow, what a bargain. Just $1,100 for that suit jacket with the fanny pack. Just $1,100. It's a twofer. You get two things. So. Uh, what about the sandals? So, she's got these lime green sandals. Or I, I should say hot green shoes. that are going for almost $700. Wow. But... That's the like a luxury shoe, you know, Louboutins, about the same price point. I love, love, love these shoes, especially the ones on the left, which mm -hmm. are like a pump that open, that has an open toe. I've never seen anything like it. It's a really cool silhouette. She's just, she's super creative and she has a really strong point of view and you can see right. that through the collection. And it's very unique. Speaking of lime green shoes, when you want your nails to match the shoes on your feet, who do you turn to for info? Well, that would be Rihanna. I mean, we're never not going to trust Riri. She right? knows how to start a trend. I mean, look at these lime green <sighs> nails right here. The minute I saw this picture, I was like, wow, that's a really bold color for a manicure. And I was like, I don't know how I feel about it. And then I was like, you know what? I kind of like it. And then I was like, you know what? I need to buy it. You know what? I need to get my nails done right now. I right really now. want that color. Like, there's something about trendsetters mm -hmm. that they know how to push the boundary at right. just the right time with something that's a little bit unexpected that gets you excited. And it, as soon as I saw Rihanna wearing this, I immediately thought, and I know Rihanna's a trendsetter, but I got to give J-Lo a shout out here because True. I remember J-Lo rocking green nails literally, I believe it was in 2014, yes. years ago. And this is, this is, what is the color? Color. You're the chartreuse. Expert. chartreuse. This is like the perfect combo of a neon green and a yellow. It's like mm -hmm. a highlighter color. 
It's so fun. I, I want this color right now. And I'm not one mm -hmm. for color all the time. I wear a lot of white and a lot of black. Literally, and you're I'm wearing like the nails. classic Meghan Markle new nails. But like, I'm a princess, but, <laughs> but I'm, I love it. I think it's really fun. And nails are something yeah. that you can always have fun with mm -hmm. because if you don't like it, you take the polish off. No, no big deal. At this rate, I'll take chartreuse. I'll take an apple green. <laughs> I'll take olive green, anything, because I ain't got nothing on my nails right now. They 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 look terrible. No, but you're good. I'm you're a good. little nervous to, to, to try the trend. I don't know. No. If it will look good on okay. my skin tone, to be honest with you. This is what we were talking about yesterday. We were talking about this color, and we did a little bit of research, and we found different ways to wear this color or different shades of green that would be good for your skin tone. So there were a variety of colors from this hot, hot neon yellow green mm -hmm. to this like deeper jade color. There is a shade for every skin tone, and again, it's a really low-risk trend. Try it on your nails. If you don't like it, it's gone next week. I feel like that lime green looks like I just went to Staples and bought a highlighter and put it on my, <laughs> like my you're hand. In junior high, like, like, but that's no, I, love I it. like that one more than the darker green. But like maybe if I put dark green on my nails, I'll like manifest like money into my life. You know, right? green money, I love it. and then I like, just buy some. Then I'll have I the it. money to buy Rihanna's Fenty shoes that cost almost seven hundred dollars <laughs> to match my green toenails. Well, she all inspires us. Now that I just said that, Kim Kardashian has oh, right. worn lime green on her toes. She did. This was last summer. Summer when she was on vacation and it was more of a like a hot neon yellow right but still in the same vibe and it, like again so fun like the best vacation color and it's a bargain you guys do it try it less than $15 for this orly color I like that and if you, if you have a really good tan while you're in the sand yes. like Kim Kardashian insta moment perfect color right there and if you guys are green with envy over this hot nail trend try it out and tag us by using the hashtag ET style feed we're gonna see a lot of uh, <laughs> Toe, toe photos first. <laughs> We're gonna get feet pictures. Yay! <laughs> It's prom season and we've got your fashion inspo for the upcoming dance. Just the fashion though, not the moves. <laughs> yes, one of our favorite designers, Jean-Baptiste Valley, teamed up with H&M to give us a collection of romantic, beautiful dresses and we got a sneak peek at the fall line at Cannes. Where was this when I was in high school? You know, seriously. I mean, this is the dress of my dreams. Now, Jean-Baptiste Valley has a, a beautiful collection of couture gowns that look very similar to what he did for H&M. So you're mm -hmm. really getting the true feel of the brand and, and, and him and his designs at a really affordable price point. I was gonna say literally affordable because I mean they range from $17.99 to $649 obviously. Probably for that giant ball And gown. accessories, exactly. right. You know, you you get into the gown, you might get the, the higher prices right there. Um, so this, yeah, it's, it's not too bad because if you think about it, I know when I was in high school, my dresses were hundreds and hundreds of dollars too. So it really is, pretty reasonable to be honest. It's great. I mean the, the good thing the good thing is the price point. The bad thing is everybody already bought it. <laughs> that is true. And you it's can't sold get out it. very At quickly. least until November when the full collection goes yes. out. <laughs> so this was a tease uh, that they that they announced early and right. dropped early and then the full collection will come out November 7th. So there's still a lot more to come. Right. And I just love this pairing so much because Jean Batista is a really creative designer and really playful. The yep. dread, like, oh God, the couture collection was just so playful, fun, over the mm -hmm. top, and like completely perfect for a, a streetwear company like H&M. And you say playful, over the top, and it literally reminds me of Kendall Jenner's hot pink look that she wore in Cannes because like, when you think of a playful dress, like one that you can take the bottom off the dress, no. I would say that's pretty playful. Playful and, and practical. And over the top because it looks like a giant loofah, but like a it fashion loofah like that loofah. I would totally wear. This is not Halloween costume, oh, you guys. I love this, it. This is this is perfect. I love it so much. I, I And again, like like you said, being able to take off that, that train mm -hmm. just makes it so much better because you can have your Insta moment, your photo op moment yes. where you have a beautiful, humongous train yes. and you take it off and you can actually move and actually dance. I don't know where you put that giant train while you're partying. <laughs> and to be able to wear a dress to your high school prom or winter formal or homecoming that Kendall Jenner wore, I mean, you'd be the talk of the, the high school. I, you know, I mean, you'd be all the superlatives. I want to see dress. all the people who bought these dresses and mm -hmm. where they're going in them. So right? I hope there's some kind of hashtag we can follow. We can, we can see where all of these people are going. Well, Kendall Jenner's not the only one who has rocked this collab already. Her looks unbelievable. This gives me some, some bridal vibes, but it does. Love it. This was all at the Amphar Gala at Cannes. So quite a moment to debut mm -hmm. a collection where you're in 
if you're in France, you have all these celebrities. It's a huge moment. Mm -hmm. So we, we got to see so many different looks. And we actually saw some menswear as yes, well, which Jean Batista about the guys. has not done before, which is really exciting. So we saw some looks here. Mm, um, do you like the polka dots yes, on Ross Lynch? I do, and I love the studded shoe. I really hope that's part of the collection too. <laughs> I know, and I hope that comes in uh, our sizes right? too. Right? Oh my gosh, you I love a good, that. you love a good shoe I love a like menswear that. moment. You love that. Who do we have next? Bianca Brandolini, wow, love and this a really cute up. two piece. Can and I, I have those abs? I, right, can <laughs> I have a body too? Uh, we love a two piece moment because I mean, I love a two-piece moment because you can wear it multiple ways. Yes. So you could absolutely throw those two things on with other pieces and get a lot of life out of it. Not and just a problem. And next we have Chiara Fragni. Oh yeah, Chiara Fragni. She is. I um, said her name wrong. Oh, her she's name's a so fashion influencer sounding. on Instagram, <laughs> and she's Italian. And I just think she's the cutest thing ever, and she's super cool. And I love that he's doing all these high-low silhouettes because that really reflects mm -hmm. what he was doing on the runways for his own collection. So that's something I always look at when uh, designers do collabs with more affordable brands is like, are they sacrificing who they are as a designer for the price point? And I really feel like this is one of those instances where that's not the case. You're really getting his vibe at an affordable price. And anybody notice that she's literally wearing like a Heart of the Ocean necklace? I love Titanic. Okay, now we have Chris Lee with this look. A lot of, um, I'm seeing a lot of the, and I know you're the expert here, the toll, is that tool. what it is? Tool, see? Tool. Yep, that's why I'm not the expert you are. <laughs> it's, a, it's like the best fabric for gowns like this because it's so playful and frothy and it really doesn't wrinkle and it's just easy. Frothy, I like yeah. it. I've never heard that in Frothy. fashion. I have a lot of adjectives for you. I love it, I cannot wait. All right, you guys, are you loving this collaboration? Would you wear it to prom? I would. Let us know and tweet us at hashtag ETStyle. Giorgio Armani just dropped his cruise collection in Tokyo. And you know, when I think of cruise, I think of my 2004 carnival trip, but this has <laughs> nothing to do with that. So explain to me what exactly a cruise collection you know, is. You're not, you're, you're not totally far off. Not totally off? Yeah, because <laughs> cruise, cru cruise and resort are essentially the same season. Okay. It's a season that's in between the traditional seasons we see um, designers show, which is fall and spring. So cruise and resort are meant to be exactly that. It's meant to be vacation wear. Okay. So we usually see it come out sometime in January or February where, you know, this was the very beginning of designers doing this where they would show collections for, you know, their very wealthy clientele who were going on vacation, spring vacation. They would buy a whole new wardrobe just for that. Now cruise has kind of morphed into this nice in-between collection that ends up being very see now, buy now. So obviously when we're seeing a fall, a sh uh, you know, a fall runway show, we're seeing that in the middle of the spring, you're not gonna see those clothes until September. I was so, gonna say, so when for so my this, brain that's having trouble understanding this, when can <laughs> right. I buy those looks that I just saw? So uh, the cruise collections are really available pretty quickly. So okay. instead of showing okay. things that they're hoping to produce, they produce them, Got they're it. available right away. So the customer gets very excited. Okay. And so it's very interesting to see that Armani is showing in Tokyo because being an Italian designer, Italian brand, they actually oh, have a massive following in Japan and in Tokyo. They have more stores, I believe, in Japan wow. than almost anywhere else. And they have 34 stores in Tokyo alone. So literally Armani walks down the street there and he's like a celebrity. People want to wow. stop him and take his picture. So I mean, look at, I mean, we saw the looks right there. What were yes. your first impressions? I saw a lot of like tailored lines yes. and warm tones. Always. So we're always going to see an, a, a great suit situation from Armani. It's never going to feel fussy. It's always going to feel very wearable and easy. A lot of neutral tones, grays, beiges. We saw some mm -hmm. pops of red and some neutrals, but this is very classic Armani, really wearable clothes. And they do have a, a really easy, like almost Japanese sensibility about yeah. them. Like, I feel like Japanese women are some of the chicest mm -hmm. I've ever seen. They, they wear clothes really well and they never look overly styled. They just look really chic. So I think that's why Armani does so well there. Right. It's the same aesthetic, really chic, classic, beautiful clothes. Who was there at the cruise collection? You know, we actually didn't see a ton of stars, American stars there. Uma Thurman was there okay. in the front row, and then there were a lot of Japanese stars. Because if, you know, I, I look for like obviously the stars on the runway, right, you're like, who's terms there? Of the clothing, but then I also look to see who's in the front row. Designer was paying homage to Tokyo, obviously okay. being a city 
that um, he has a, a tower named, mm -hmm. uh, an Armani tower there, and they actually just did a huge renovation. So to sort of celebrate that, they decided to do the show in Tokyo. And I hear men. Men? Men? What's men? It's, oh, yes, there were also men on the show. There we go. So we don't the always men. see designers um, do one runway with men and women, but this was a co-ed show. And oh. I believe it was his first co-ed show. Wow. I love this. And I love that yeah. velvet. Can I... Can I get that second look right there? Right, the velvet I, I always do that. I'm like, up. actually, the men's looks are really cool. Like, oh, I love that great geometric printed top. Well, like, where's that? Maybe I'll have to book another cruise. <laughs> you want to come with me? Yes, let's, let's go on a let's cruise. Let's buy a cruise collection and go on a cruise. Et actually, style feed coming to you from the <laughs> the seas. Actually, no thanks. For the cruise. Pack your drama, me. Oh, what is in my car? What isn't in my car? But one item right? I will tell you are these adorable pair of sneakers from ASOS. These are oh, the those are Durban cute. pointed lace-up sneakers. I know, right? In snake print at an affordable price that you and my mom would both approve. I definitely $51. approve. $51. And the reason why I have these in my car, I feel like you'll appreciate, is because I was in Seattle recently and we walked 30 miles the entire oh, wow. weekend. And so I wanted something that was chic that still matched my outfit fits but something that was comfortable and it was too cold to wear sandals so I really need to stock up on my sneakers but I need affordable yep. ones that you know I don't have to worry about getting scuffed or exactly. anything like that but still look cute because fashion you found a closet void <laughs> and if you have a closet void I think you need to buy it yes it's not an impulse yes. buy that's a Keep closet void me. I'll buy it a closet void that needs to be filled <laughs> now what's in your cart that we can buy all right Let's buy stuff in my cart I've had this item in my car for far too long but I really want a pair of khaki pants this this spring and, and summer so I've had this pair of pants by IMGia the Cobain pant in my car I love the high waist I love that they're, they're cinched at the ankle mm -hmm. the wallet chain I'm I'm on the fence about but it could be kind of a cool mm -hmm. fun twist because it. it comes off I'm so torn I don't know if I want a wide leg or the cinch leg get them both and I want one pair of khaki <laughs> pants I'm gonna wear to death get so I think both. that might be the one and it's payday like we said right so buy it $76 not too bad it's a bargain under $100 that is a wrap for Easy Style Feed. Oh, I'm so bummed, but thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, let us know what style stories you guys are swiping on by using the hashtag Easy Style Feed. And to all you fashionistas out there, we'll see you next week. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> She's so extra. <laughs>